What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now look at this nice and beautiful question that we have here on the board that we're going to be solving. And the question says, if x plus 1 over x is equal to 7, find the value of x squared all over x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1. Well, I'm going to be using two methods to solve this question. So I'll be calling the first method, method 1. So for method 1, I'll be writing this first expression, which is x plus 1 over x equal to 7. And I'll be squaring both sides. So that's the first step that we're going to be taking. So squaring the left-hand side, I'll have x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared equal to squaring 7. I'm going to be having 49. So now notice that this x will go off with this x. So leaving behind x squared plus 2 plus 1 all over x squared equal to 49. So our next step will be to move this 2 to the right hand side. So moving this 2 to the right hand side, I'll be having x squared plus 1 over x squared equal to 49. As 2 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 2. So this I have x squared plus 1 over x squared equal to 49 minus 2, I'll be having 47. For our next step, I'm going to be dividing the numerator and the denominator of this our second expression by x squared. So let's divide this second expression by x squared. So divide x squared by x squared, I'm going to be having 1 all over x to the power 4 divided by x squared, I'm going to be having x squared plus x squared divided by x squared is 1 plus 1 over x squared. So that is it. So just divide the numerator and the denominator by x squared. And this is what we have. Now notice that this can also be written as 1 all over x squared plus 1 all over x squared. That means bringing this and this together plus 1. And now remember that we've already got the value of x squared plus 1 over x squared. And what is the value? It is 47. So let's substitute 47 here. So we're going to be having 1 all over. Here I'll be writing 47 plus 1. So our final answer will be 1 all over 48. And there you have it. So this is our first step. So for our method 2, so I'm going to be writing method 2. Pay attention to this first expression. Our first step will be for us to clear the fraction. So clearing the fraction means we use x to multiply through. So using x to multiply through, I'm going to be having x squared plus 1 equal to 7x. So now pay attention to this second expression, which is x squared all over. Now look at this denominator. You notice that it is a quartic equation. And this quartic equation is close to a perfect square written as x to the power 4 plus 2x squared plus 1. You notice that I added x squared to this expression to get this expression. So in order to make it balanced, I need to subtract x squared. Now it is balanced just like this. And like I said, this is a perfect square. This expression here is a perfect square. So let's write it in form of a perfect square. So we have x squared all over in form of a perfect square i'll be having x squared plus one raised to power two that's it now minus x squared minus x squared and now you notice that the denominator is difference of two square and how do we express difference of two square whenever i have m squared minus n squared this can be written as m plus n times m minus n. So let's express this denominator like this. So I'll be having x squared all over. Now this can be written as x squared plus 1, which is representing m, plus x, plus x, times x squared plus 1, this time minus x, just like this. Remember that we've already got x squared plus 1. Look at it here. So x squared plus 1 is equal to 7x. So that means wherever I see x squared plus 1, I'm going to be putting 7x there. So let's do that. So I have x squared all over. Now 
this becomes 7x plus x. This is going to give me 8x times x squared plus 1. This is 7x. So 7x minus x, I'm going to be having 6x. So this becomes x squared all over 8x times 6x. I'll be having 48x squared. So x squared here 1, x squared here 1. So reducing to 1 all over 48. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.